My dad singing on this one too. I uh, I uh, was sitting here thinking before we got started. I thought, well, he can do so much better on it than I can do today. So we're just gonna let him. Well, any day, but we're just gonna let him sing you another song here. Hi, Annie. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Well, it must not 
be too bad keeping 25 people off the time for a few moments. <laughs> said that was my dad and uh, hopefully you enjoyed those couple of songs I was speaking with someone or they sent me a text earlier said they did uh, watch uh, the video from this morning said your guitar is backwards you're playing left-handed trust me I I, I can do hardly anything left-handed but that's the way Facebook uh, brought it across so um, and things in the office might be a little backward looking but uh, I guess I'm just um, glad to be here tonight. I thank for all the folks who have gathered on. Miss Martha Deemers, faithful to uh, join us, and God bless you, sis. Um, but um, I just want to read a piece of scripture to you tonight. Um, this is from, I don't know if you can tell this, this room uh, in here, of course, it does look uh, a little dark. It's not as bright as the church is, and of course, uh, when the sun goes down at 4 30. <laughs> in the evening <laughs> just kidding but when it gets dark as early as it does uh, i have this um i have this light that i had bought for uh just this purpose and uh, sometimes it works good and sometimes it doesn't but anyhow i have it shot up behind um this screen and uh it looks like uh, maybe a scene from war war of the worlds or something i've got some um <laughs> Some stuff put up here so it would reflect uh, back on me a little bit of light. Sorry it looks dark, but um, it just gives me a kind of a thought process. Jesus came for us so in a time of darkness we could receive the light. What does the scripture say? Um, good evening to you, Miss Janet, Janice uh, Lott and uh, Marianne. God bless you folks. What does the scripture say about uh, the people that sat in darkness saw a great light. And so Jesus was uh, prophesied to come, and it was years before he came, but the scripture also says that when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his son made of a woman, uh, made um, of, of flesh. He's God and man. When we see Jesus arrive on the scene, the scripture says that the angel says to uh, Mary and Joseph that his name shall be called Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. And he brings uh, the light uh, to those that sat in darkness, or what may be the case, some folks that still sit in darkness today. And my prayer is for those that if they would watch this, that they would understand that they uh, can receive the light that comes from the Lord. Chapter 23 of the book of Luke. That last song that, that I just played of my dad singing, that song is called King of Kings. And so I would like to say to you today, folks, that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. 
In chapter 23 of the book of Luke, in verse 1 it says, And the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ, a king. And Pilate asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answered him and said, Thou sayest it. Then said Pilate to the chief priest and to the prophets and to the people, rather, I find no fault in him. I think it's interesting that when Jesus is asked by Pilate, Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus says, Thou sayest. What you're saying is right. What you're saying is correct. What you're saying is true. Yes, he is uh, not only the king of the Jews, he is uh, the king of kings. He is our deliverer today. He is our light in darkness. He is our comfort in trouble. He is our strength in weakness. He is our joy in despair. He is our hope for no matter what comes against us today, he is there for us. For all those that may be watching this, um, for those folks that attend our church, for those folks who do not, I know some of the folks that uh, live in different states who have been watching this, uh, we declare to you today the same thing that we declare any other day. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Glory. And although today um, we sometimes seem to struggle, stumble, falter, wonder where he is in times of need, he's always there. He always sees. He always hears. It's not going to be a long uh, message this evening. It's not going to be a long time being on here. Uh, I do pray. Um, I know my wife was talking to our grandkids earlier, and she came in right before I got on here and asked me if I'd like to talk with them. And, of course, I would have liked to talk with them, but I'm trying to uh, get ready for this, too. And, and so I'm kind of challenged uh, to be able to do both. Maybe I should hold the phone up and talk to them while I'm talking to you. But if there's anything my kids and my grandkids I want them to know is the same thing Jesus Christ is the king of kings <laughs> there's my sister Barbara yes he is he's the king of kings he is the prince of peace he's the one that gives us strength when we feel we have no strength left and Teresa and I were talking earlier I said my lands I cannot understand how people make it through this life. What hope do you have if you don't put your hope and trust in Christ? What hope do you have? That you just get better and make it another day and another day and another day? <laughs> For what? When we leave here, if you're not right with God, what good has it been to live a hundred years? My prayer is today that you're right with God that you accept Jesus Christ as king. Maybe you find yourself today asking the same thing that Pilate asked. Art thou the king of the Jews? Let me say to you this. Ask today this question. Is he the king of your life? And if he isn't, he can be. For those that may watch this today, I may never know who watches this once it's put on YouTube. I have no clue. And some people will respond, some people won't. I have no clue. But whatever wherever it goes. Uh, my job, my duty, the job of everybody that attends the church where I pastor and everybody that attends the church anywhere in the United States as a Christian, as a believer, is to share our belief with others. You can't force it on people. Let's say this all together, right? It is what it is. We're going to do what we choose to do, but hopefully today you make the choice to serve the King of Kings. Well, let's end with a prayer today, folks. Lord, as we come to you, God, I do pray for our church that you will bless our folks there. Pray for those that have attended, those that have not been able to, God. Uh, you know the needs, Lord. For all the uproar that has been uh, in this nation, not only this year, but in the past years, God. 
I pray that you will help us to see the only real peace that we can have is found in the King of Kings. For us to lay our head down on our, our pillow at night and know that if we never wake up again, we will be where he is, <laughs> is the greatest thought one can have. Lord, I thank you for all you do for us, and I pray that you will bless the hearer today. In Jesus' name. All right, folks. Now uh, you can go watch some other service if you want to, and I'll say what I say, I guess, um, <laughs> when I'm leaving the pulpit at our church. See ya. God bless you. Have a good evening. Thank you, sis. Praying for you, too.